John Miller to talk to us right now about what exactly is going on inside that building. John? So right now, the president would be going through the garage into the freight elevator. He will be going with his Secret Service detail, which has him under protection. But there's going to be a moment certain, and it could be in that elevator or it could be up in the U.S. Marshal's office, where he's going to be approached by the two FBI agents who are technically arresting him on all these charges in the name of the U.S. government. And at that point, the Secret Service takes a step back because... He is no longer their protectee, in a sense. He is in the custody of the FBI until such time a federal magistrate um, at the end of this arraignment, and it's entirely likely that they will, say, you're free to go, and these are the following conditions, uh, which are probably just going to be the you have to return to court. In between, he will be, um, he will be fingerprinted. Uh, with the electronic scan and those prints will be run against the records and entered in. Um, we are told by Caitlin Collins that the procedure of taking a DNA, a, a DNA swab from his mouth uh, with a Q-tip, which is the procedure for all federal arrestees, is going to be skipped in this case. Uh, we're not sure why. A photograph of him will be uploaded into the system. Um, uh, it'll be an open source photograph. They're not going to take a formal mugshot because there are plenty of pictures of him available to, to put in that record. And then there'll be a brief holding time for the magistrate to, to get ready and then he and his team will go to that courtroom uh, where he'll be represented by his defense lawyers, enter that plea, and the rest will unfold on the record. Uh, what I described is the part that nobody is going to see. Also no one will see in the courtroom because there are no cameras allowed no recording devices, no telephones, but there will be reporters and sketch artists, and we will hear after the hearing what occurred.